So this is a no spoilers review of Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, which is about some high school kids who get sucked up into a Jumanji video game and they become a real life version of the characters they selected to play and they have to beat the game to get back out. So I'm just going to say off the back, this movie was fucking awesome. It starts off slow, okay, while you're getting introduced to this motley crew of characters. They are painfully cliche. Then they go into the video game and physically they're like the polar opposites of what they are in real life. So right away you expect this, you know, stereotypical teen movie bullshit, you know, personal challenges they're going to have to overcome and they're going to have to work together and of course lessons to be learned and personal journeys and growth and you know everyone ends up better and they've grown to care for each other despite their differences. <laughs> Sounds cliche, right? Yeah, because it fucking is. But guess what? There's so much that works in this film. You don't really notice how breakfast clubby it is, you know, because it's just fucking awesome. Starting with the cast, Kevin Hart, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Jack Black, and Karen Gillan. So they're the characters in the game who are really the teenagers, but then they all kind of also play themselves. So it's like these three people all rolled up into one character and it works. It, you know, it really works. Um, the cast was perfect. And so were the performances. Jack Black, hilarious. Um, the Rock was perfect for this role. Karen Gillan was awesome. Kevin Hart was great and slightly toned down from his usually semi-obnoxious self. Um, so next, not only was it cast perfectly, but the chemistry between the cast was also amazing. Um, and most importantly, I, it was funny. Like, you know, um, a lot of these comedies have a ton of jokes that fall flat. And that really wasn't the case here. And it didn't cross over to dumb as fuck either. You know, yeah, it got a little silly, but it's about getting sucked up into a fucking video game. It's a comedy. You know, you have to suspend certain beliefs here, okay? It's fun. That's all it is. Don't walk into this expecting deep characters doing deep shit. You know, it's just a good time. If you actually find yourself enjoying some of the comedy, you will enjoy even the cheesiest, most predictable, and most cliche moments that I normally roll my eyes at, okay? Like the inevitable romance, you know? But I was so entertained by some of the writing and action that I literally didn't care, you know? People were clapping at the end of this movie, and I, I laughed through most of it. Now, I'm not going to compare it to the 1995 Jumanji, and neither should you. I think that's where a lot of the negative reviews are coming from, because though they are connected, this movie really stands on its own, and it's less serious and dark and you know it's just a lot of fun and has a totally different vibe um you know there's references to the first film but you don't have to see it um if you haven't so as far as negatives I, I really don't have anything negative to say about it I mean I already said that it was cliche and stereotypical but I also said you know it's something that can be overlooked because of how well it was executed um I did roll my eyes at one particular stereotypical character fridge um other than that you know it's not you know, filmmaking, cinematic perfection, you know, as far as action scenes and cinematography, but I, nobody was expecting that, you know, it's, it's, um, like I said, it's just a really silly movie, so I wouldn't even take that as a negative. Um, keep in mind, I watched this movie having not seen a single trailer, which is just something I do sometimes, so there are lots of things about it that I didn't know about going in. Actually, I didn't know anything about it except that The Rock was in it, so obviously I didn't even look at the poster, you know, so I may have enjoyed it more just for that reason, which is why I avoid trailers sometimes in the first place. It allows me to critique a movie without having preset expectations, so there may have been some things that other people already knew, and you know, that was funny that I didn't know, so I don't know, maybe I just found it funnier for that reason. Either way, I give it an 8. I thought it was great. Um, uh, follow me on Twitter at MovieBuffChick1. Like, subscribe, comment, you know, let me know what you think about this.